Hispanic Heritage is brought to you by C. Felton. WSAV continues to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, recognizing the history, culture, and contributions of Hispanic Americans. This weekend, the Hispanic Heritage Club of Hinesville is hosting its first ever festival. Pablo Rodriguez is the president of the organization. Agatha Cravero is the secretary, and they join us now with more. Thank you so much for being here today. This is so exciting. Thank you so much, Kim, and um, happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Yes, <laughs> yes, right. We're celebrating all month long until October 15th. So let's get to the organization before we get to the event. How did the organization form and why? So it formed back in 1992. Um, and you uh, can actually take this yeah. away, Pablo. <laughs> Pablo's the president, yeah. right? Take it away, Pablo. Yeah. Okay. We uh, we found this organization in 1992 mm -hmm. by Angel Sanabria. We was all military in first tour. That happened in first tour. At that time, it was a group of soldiers, including me in there. And then after that, we Angel and I we retired. We decided to keep going with the with the group. Mm -hmm. You know, keep the culture alive for the our kid, especially for our kid yeah. who growing up in this country without, you know, not having too much know about our heritage. And we try to keep our heritage alive for them. Yeah, Hinesville, much like Savannah, has a growing Hispanic population. How important is this organization? Oh, it's extremely important. Um, really, our mission is to uh, cultivate, maintain, and promote the Hispanic culture within the community. Mm -hmm. um, and we do this either by, well, we do this by um, community involvement, like such as this event. We do this by educational programs, um, arts programs. So we have a, a folkloric dance program that we are teaching wow. um, in the community, and it's completely free. Um, we do these not, it's not for, um, it's not for the, the outside people looking in. It's for our community, the mm -hmm. Hispanic and non-Hispanic community. We want to be able to educate and provide that uh, culture, see all the diverse backgrounds, and we want to help it, right? We did a can drive not too long ago to help the victims that were going through the natural disasters. Yeah. Um, and we are constantly trying to um, get support from our community as well. We provide vendors with, um, with opportunities to sell their products. And you know, this event is a, is a big deal for and us. And provide valuable resources exactly. to our community. Exactly. That's a good thing, that's a good thing. Okay, so let's talk about the event because this is the first ever, but you'll have many, many more to come. I can imagine that this was no small undertaking. Oh. <laughs> You're telling us this has been so, it's, it's been very hectic, but it's so rewarding, really is. I have met so many people, and mind you, I haven't been in Georgia for that long, but the amount of time that I have been, I've been just in awe with the community, with the beautiful people that I've met here, the diversity, all that unity, the collaboration. It just, it really helps and it does a lot. Um, I, I personally, um, a little bit about me, whenever I came here to the United States with my family from Peru, um, there was not much assistance and available resources for my parents, who of course they are Spanish speakers and they don't know any English. So as the young sibling of the family, you know, the younger one of the family, I stayed there and I helped them throughout everything and I would translate everything. And I wondered why isn't there that assistance for these type of people who are coming to the United States. Mm. Um, since we, you know, we make up the United States, it's, it's made up of immigrants, it's made up of diverse backgrounds. Uh, so that always stayed and still it's instilled in me to the point that once I came to Georgia, I was like, you know what, there has to be something. And that's when I found Pablo, the wow. president. So Pablo, we have about 30 seconds left, but tell oh, people sorry. what we can expect. No, this was a great story. <laughs> tell people what we can expect when we come to the festival this weekend. Well, we have having a, a lot of stuff going on. We got music folklore dance, we got entertainment for the kid, we got a lot of, a lot of stuff in there. Yes. It's so going to be a nice one. Everybody going to be enjoying this. Food. And, and food, food. And especially. food. And especially food, right? Especially okay. Spanish food. <laughs> so mm -hmm. here's the information for you. The Hispanic Heritage Festival is taking place tomorrow from noon until 10 at night. 10 so at you night. can yes. enjoy all day long in downtown Hinesville. For more information, call 912-320-7192 or email H H C I N E S V I L L E. That's 
H H C Hinesville at yeah, gmail.com. I just you got, got it, it, right? I just you got, got it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for and joining what, us this morning. I'd like to let her know that we have an, uh, a person who coming to imitate Paquita La del Barrio for those who want for the Mexican people. Okay, definitely. Wonderful. And Thank then, you. can I say just one Okay, one real quick. Thing? Real quick. Um, buenas, por favor, quiero verte allá en el festival mañana sábado de las 12 a las 10 de la noche. El festival está en Hinesville, en la comunidad de Hinesville, in downtown. Muchas gracias. Uh -huh. Espero verte ahí. We appreciate that. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs>